Parents Teacher Association, so I hope to represent those organizations. I'm here today to beg you to vote for Science Bill 70, Senate Bill 70, to repeal the Science Education Act and to tell you that the Louisiana Science Education Act is not about promoting quality science education. It is a thinly disguised effort to inject non-scientific ideas, especially related to creationism and intelligent design, into science classrooms. Our Louisiana Department of Education has designed a curriculum for science classes based on national science standards, Louisiana science standards, and grade level expectations to ensure that our Louisiana students get a good grounding in science. We have outstanding science teachers in this state, and for the most part, they do a terrific job. We desperately need a scientifically literate population if we are to advance economically and culturally and gain respect from the rest of the country. The effect of Senate Bill 70 would be to restore the ability of our Department of Education, school administrators, science supervisors, and teachers to ensure that science is taught well and correctly. The LSEA was passed over the strenuous objections of scientists and science teachers, and I'm so very proud that now our Louisiana students have taken over the battle to ensure that good science is taught in Louisiana. I think we're doing something right with our students. The Louisiana Science Education Act opens the door for anyone who wants to present unverified, unproven ideas as science. Do we really want our students to learn about UFOs instead of the kingdoms of living things? About astrology and fortune telling instead of astronomy? And about creationism instead of evolution? Of course not, nor are we in the business of teaching our students about religious beliefs in science class. Whether those beliefs are Christian, Buddhist, Muslim, or Native American creation stories. Neither do we attack our students' religious beliefs. We simply deal in science and what is testable Supreme. and verifiable and in what the Let's overwhelming see, majority of scientists have paperwork. tested and shown to be true. We do not teach them about untested, unproven ideas. I am personally a religious person, and my own Presbyterian church does not find a conflict between science and religion. As far as I am personally concerned, evolution is how life developed on Earth, and God is why. But that belief has no place in my biology class. Louisiana Family Forum pushed the Science Education Act upon the legislature because they really believe that their particular type of fundamentalist Christianity should be allowed presented in the classroom. But a large group of religious leaders, including the Pope, do not agree. They support the teaching of evolution and understand the danger of imposing one group's ideas on the general public. I agree with Pope John Paul II who said, the Bible does not wish to teach how heaven was made, but how one goes to heaven. Please keep pseudoscience out of science class and protect the hard work that the LDE has done in promulgating standards, GLEs, and a comprehensive curriculum that represent the best ideas of teachers and scientists. It is crucial that our science students understand the nature of science and how science develops. Here is something that the overwhelming majority of scientists agree on. There is no reasonable scientific case for intelligent design or for any other form of creationism as an, as an alternative to biological evolution. There's no controversy and nothing credible against evolution to present in science class. For those who ask, why not teach both sides in science class? Here's the answer from Project 2061 by AAAS, the American Association for the Advancement of Science. First, presenting non-scientific views in the science classroom is bound to confuse students about what is and isn't science. At a time when U.S. students are expressing reduced enthusiasm for science, Baby boomer scientists are retiring in growing numbers, and international students are returning home to work. America can ill afford to risk compromising the integrity of its science education. Second, it would be unfair to present students with only one religious viewpoint and not all others, and it would be unreasonable to ask teachers of science to try to teach religion in science classes. The clergy project that Zach has already mentioned says, um, we believe that the theory of evolution is a foundational scientific truth one that has stood up to rigorous scrutiny and upon which much of human knowledge and achievement rests. To reject this truth or to treat it as one theory among others is to deliberately embrace scientific ignorance and transmit such ignorance to our children. In conclusion, in today's society, scientific literacy is crucial for the citizens of tomorrow and any attempts to interject non-science into the science classroom are reprehensible and do the citizens of Louisiana a terrible disservice. The Science Education Act, which opened the door for non-science to enter the science classroom, is a very bad law and does a tremendous damage to our state's reputation once again. The Louisiana Family Forum has no expertise in science or in education, and the legislature does our state and our students a serious disservice if we allow them to impact the teaching of science. 
Please rely on the experts in science and in education to determine what to teach in science class and how to teach it, and listen to the voices of our students added to ours. Please vote for Senate Bill 70 to repeal the Science Education Act. Thank you. Thank you.